Dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. <laughs> The quickest way to the mountains is through the north gate. Hello everyone, Trix here and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Welcome to cycle 4. Last time in the third cycle we actually beat the first dungeon, cleared off the first region of Majora's Mask. The southern region, the swamp. However, we have returned in time. Because now that we have the dungeon item from the dungeon, the bow and arrow, the hero's bow, a lot of events have unlocked. A couple of them we were already able to do after the dungeon. However, a couple of other ones actually require it to be the first day. Or uh, just to, for the swamp to be uh, poisoned again. <laughs> One event we are going to do, we cannot do after the dungeon is defeated. So that is what we'll be starting off with today. Cleaning up the last couple of side quests that have unlocked after clearing dungeon number one. Okay, the first thing we're going to do actually requires us to... No, it's not entirely to, not required, but I do like to have it at this point. Because one of the things we're going to do is another mini game, And that mini game is actually going to use an item we do not possess yet, so let's buy it here. Officially, you don't have to buy it. Even if you don't have it in possession, you can still play the minigame. However, it does feel correct if we have the bump juice in our possession. Set them to one of the item buttons on the select item screen. Press the corresponding button to arm one of these mousy wall climbing bombs. You might remember them from Ocarina of Time. They have a very, very small role to play in this game, but they're still in this game. <laughs> And the minigame we are going to play is actually the Honey and Darlings shop. I pointed this out uh, when I headed towards the town shooting gallery in, in cycle 3. It's a minigame that is comparable to the lottery shop and the Deku playground. It actually has three different minigames on all three of the days. We can only get the full reward for this if we clear them in all three days in the same cycle. As you can see, changes daily. So the honey and darling shop we need to do from day one and only after you get the bow and arrow <laughs> don't go try doing this earlier as you can see we have a couple of targets on the wall and three different ways of getting to them <laughs> it looks like we have a visitor honey i wonder if it's a customer darling <laughs> oh would you like to play today is bump you gallery day isn't it darling <laughs> one game is 10 rupees <laughs> Hit each target with a bomb chew in the time it takes for us to dance through one song. But if you fall off this platform, you're out. Right, darling? <laughs> Are you ready? Start the music! Okay, this is how this minigame works. As you can see, there are targets on the wall, and we need to hit them. In the case of the first day challenge with bomb chews. So, make sure you aim, aim them correctly. Something uh, I'm doing a very poor job of so far. <laughs> but anyway, eventually you should be able to hit them. Do make sure you stay on this platform. If you get off this platform or fall off the platform, you actually fail. It has to be somewhat of a challenge. And this is not easy, apparently. <laughs> I remember this being a whole lot easier. But it does become more challenging the further you get, as you can see. The more targets we hit, the faster this platform will spin. Definitely increasing the challenge. Okay, two more. One more. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Did you see that, honey? He got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. And we get another fishing hole pass. Even that you can compare to the Deku Playground. <laughs> Three days of gaming. Day one. You got a perfect score at the Bombchu Gallery. Okay, and these guys also have a timeline because this shop isn't always open, as you can see. That's annoying. Let's show off even more for him, darling. Um, let's not. Let's leave. <laughs> I'll be back here tomorrow. 
As you may expect, another minigame will be in place then. But not quite yet. In the meantime, let's go do something else. Because there's plenty of other events we can take care of. One of them is actually showing off the new mask we got in the previous cycle. The Mask of Scents. A mask that is actually very good at smelling certain things. Things that normal, regular human Link cannot smell. As you can see, if we wear the mask, Link will automatically start sniffing around. However, there isn't always something to smell. But sometimes there is. In certain locations in this game, I'm pretty sure it's not a whole lot, but still. There are multiple locations in this game. There's actually something interesting you can smell with this mask. One of them is actually right here in the Stockpot Inn. Enter the guest room. And in here... Tettle already uh, points us out to it. As you can see, there's actually something uh, reeking over there. It's not there if we're regular Link. However, if we wear the Mask of Sense... You will actually see this uh, boxer over here... Has a certain stench to it. Hey, what are you doing? Don't sniff that, you weirdo. <laughs> uh, that smell, I wonder. Yeah, there's actually something about this smell. As weird as it may be, <laughs> smelling someone's underwear. <laughs> there's actually something special about this uh, purple scent. And you guessed correctly, there's actually something we can do with it. Equip one of your empty bottles. And try to catch this smell. And you will find out it's a magic mushroom. Your nose is tickled by its fragrant scent. Okay, good thing to note about this. This is actually the bed where Gorman, the circus group leader, is actually sleeping in. So, great job, Gorman. Your underwear is growing mushrooms. <laughs> of course, there's something we can do with this mushroom. Just catching it in the bottle is fun and everything. But there is one important use for it. If you may remember, the magic hacks in the southern swamp... And these guys actually needed a mushroom in order to brew their potions. Let's go give it to them. Or to her, because Kotake is actually the only one who's uh, running that shop, but you know what I mean. Anyway, the swamp is poisoned again. That's a good thing, but before we head into the southern swamp, let's go buy ourselves some magic beans. Because in an upcoming event, we actually need a couple. And this guy is actually the easiest way to get them. Just change into a Deku Scrub. And this guy can actually sell you magic beans. We need two of them, so... Let's bring those along. Okay, thank you. Now let's make our way to the Hex again. They were talking about how Kume was actually trying to find these mushrooms. However, she got ambushed by the Skull Kid. <laughs> With that little side quest for her became a little bit sidetracked. But there's of course still something we can do when it comes to mushrooms. Um, I feel like killing you. <laughs> okay. Little distractions aside. Let's head into the shop again. Hello again, Kotake. And you're sleeping again. <laughs> but okay, let's go point out how this shop works. As you can see, there's three kinds of potions. The regular red and green ones are always available. However, this blue one, as you can see, she does not have the ingredients for this one. So, she cannot make this. However, if we speak to her... Hmm, if I only had some fragrant mushrooms, I could brew a more invigorating potion. Yeah, indeed, you guessed it. In order to get the blue potion available in this shop, we need to give her a magic mushroom. Hmm, what a scent! Oh, you did a great job on finding this one. I just haven't been able to get my hands on any of them. And that put me in a real pinch. Well, I can use this to make something, so come back later. Okay, and if you leave the shop and come back, the blue potion will be available to buy here. That's pretty much how it works. And you're standing on a box. <laughs> Interesting. Hell yeah for being able to pan around the camera in the 3DS version. But okay, blue potions are available to buy. Not that I want any of them, but still. I wanted to point out that, that is how it works. That's pretty much the use for the Mask of Sense. 
Let's move on to the Deku Palace again. Because there's also the picture contest we still need to do. We're in the swamp now anyway, so might as well do this quest now. I could have also done it in the third cycle now that I think about it, but uh, I was already planning on doing it now, so... It does not matter a whole lot. In the end, all events will be cleared in this game, don't worry. <laughs> it's still 100% playthrough. But okay, you might be asking, how do we win the picture contest? You can't just take any picture in the swamp. Well, you can, but... Mostly everything you make a picture of here in the swamp will only give you rupees. There's one thing that will give you the main prize because of it being a super rare sight in the swamp. There's only one thing humans in the swamp actually feel like something rare. That is the picture of the Deku King. Something a normal human wouldn't be able to see. <laughs> Humans are not allowed in the Deku Palace. This... Come on, why am I failing so badly? Do it the easy way then. Okay. Way better. <laughs> Should have done that in the first place. But anyway, this human is allowed in the Deku Palace because we can change into a Deku. Fooling these guys. And thinking we are one of them. We can get into the face of one person no human is normally ever allowed to meet. And this is the most rare thing you can meet here in the swamp. If this does not impress the tourist center guy, then I don't know what will. <laughs> Sir, allow me to take a picture of you. Thank you. Oh, we are such cheaters. We look like a Deku Scrub, one of you, but we're actually human. <laughs> oh, I think they know we're human now. <laughs> Always love doing it like that. But okay, uh, we'll be back at the beginning of the Southern Swamp later. There's actually another event we can do in this area of the Southern Swamp. The poisoned area, you might say. And that's actually related to that building over there. You might have noticed it the last couple of times we passed through here. But there's actually another building here, as you can see. And that actually also houses another event. So let's go try doing that now. Now that we have the ability to use two empty bottles, this is the perfect time to actually start doing it now. And I don't have any Deku sticks. Okay, in that case, change of plans. And let's go back to the beginning of the Southern Swamp. I know we can get a couple there. It's a simple matter of killing some Deku Babas in order to get Deku Sticks. But we can't find them over there, so... <laughs> okay, now that we're here, might as well also um, show the picture immediately. Completely forgot about the fact that we need a Deku Stick in order to enter that place. Because there's a web in front of the door. And we need to burn that down. Okay, sometimes it takes a while for this guy to trigger his uh, picture graph contest dialogue. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, I have indeed taken a very nice picture graph. Chew on this, sir. <laughs> Oh, oh, the king! You are amazing! If you're not a Deku Scrub, you're not allowed to enter the Deku Palace. But somehow you took this picture. This is a great shot. This is as rare as they come. I'm giving you a big prize. Piece of art, of course. <laughs> I'm looking forward to your next picture. And that is how you clear off the pictograph contest. You submitted the photograph of someone photogenic. <laughs> okay, there is actually another way to clear this event. But I think I'll shove that to the bonus content. Okay, this is a perfect place where you can find some Deku Babas. If you kill them like this, when they're facing upward, they will always drop a Deku stick. What's interesting about this location is because of the screen transition being here... 
if you start moving between this corridor, the enemies will actually keep on respawning here. So you can uh, pretty easily grind for Deku Nuts and Deku Sticks in this little area. Which is pretty interesting. But okay, technically we only needed one. I think the quickest way to that the poisoned area is through that octo over there. Now that we have arrows, we can actually kill them directly. We don't actually need the boat anymore. The only dangerous thing about this is because of the poisoned water here. It will start hurting us, so... <laughs> it's still not a good idea to actually go through this way. There's actually um, something later that will make this easier. I'll show that off the moment we actually unlock that. But for now, I think the best way is to just warp there. Warping to Woodfall and then leaving Woodfall. And then make your way to that poisoned area. Okay, attempt number two of entering this little house. As you can see, they're webbings. So only a burnt stick or a later item is actually able to take care of that. But for now, we only have the burnt sticks. <laughs> Let's see what this place actually is. Swamp Spider House, dead ahead. Spider House, okay. Welcome to the Swamp Spider House. There's a doggy running around here. Interesting. House cleaning tips for exterminating spiders. Spiders make a distinct loud sound, so follow your ears to find them. Spiders that are high up can be attacked using items that have a far reach. Hidden spiders will come out if you roll into them, so don't panic. You can also rely on the habits of bugs to draw spiders out of their holes. Try it if you come across a suspicious hole. A house disturbance is akin to a heart disturbance. Exterminate those spiders and bring life back to this place. Okay, spider extermination. That sounds kind of weird. Uh, what the heck is that? <laughs> looks familiar. Didn't we see something like this in Ocarina of Time as well? Ah, help me. I'm not a monster. The spider's curse. It made me this way. I beg of you. In here. Find them all. The gold ones. The cursed spiders. Defeat them. Quickly. And when you defeat them, don't forget the spider token. It contains the spider spirit. If you lift the curse, I'll teach you something good. Hurry, please. This is awful. Yeah, I also don't uh, want to change into a spider. <laughs> but remember in Ocarina of Time, the spider's curse, the gold sculptures that were in there, and that returns in this game. However, unlike in Ocarina of Time, it's not actually spiders across the entire overworld. In here, it's just this little house over here. <laughs> but the concept is still the same. You need to defeat the spiders in order to rescue this guy, change him back, in order to make him human again. Make sure you bring along some bugs, because as the sign said, just like in Ocarina of Time, sometimes bug, uh, spiders can be hidden in suspicious holes, and for that we need bugs in order to lure them out. Okay, here's our first one. Gold Sculptula Spirit. And that's basically what this place is all about. Finding all of the spiders in here. And killing every single one of them, collecting their spirits, in order to clear this place off. And these suspicious holes on the walls. You can actually let some bugs out, and they will crawl in that hole. And push out the guy that was already in there, <laughs> the gold sculptula. And that's the whole reason why I would recommend having two bottles before you start tackling this. Because we also need some spring water in here. That's the whole reason why I bought those magic beans at the beginning of this cycle. <laughs> so, make sure you have a bottle with water and a bottle of bugs. And bugs you can actually find in here, in the first room. They will always respawn, so it's pretty easy um, recollecting them if you need more of them. So, let's go take care of the hole on the right wall. Because obviously the same kind of deal is happening here. Hello, my friend. <laughs> okay, that's 
three. As long as you can hear spider sounds in the room, you know you're not done yet. And this is actually what our next one is. On this pillar, moving up and down. Make sure it's low. And then kill it, because killing a spider is one thing, but you also need to collect its spirit. <laughs> There's also one in the water over here. Okay, the sign talks about the uh, spring water here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The moment you meet one of these signs, you know the water you're standing in is spring water. Needed for magic bean platforms, of course. Um, no, I want to go to the other room first. I want to start in this little side room first. <laughs> 